Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is a channel strictly for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Welcome if you are new. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe for those of you returning. Hi everybody, how are you? Let's see what the drama is for you guys <laughs> coming up now. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and that will take you straight to my booking page. If you have any problems, um, contact me through email. There will be a link there as well. All right, you guys, remember these are general messages. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Okay, Virgo, let's see. And thank you everyone for the super chats yesterday. Um, Steve-O, I do believe that was you, thank you. All right, you guys, messages for Virgo, Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, we've already got two popping out here. Ooh. Somebody's feeling very heartbroken, and because of that, wants to come in and make some type of a solid offer to you. Um, could be like um, a gesture, an apology, um, to try to make something work again here. Maybe there was a third party situation that ended. All right, Six of Cups came out in the reverse. This person, yeah, it feels like stuck in the past here. Let's keep on moving. All right, everything's showing up reversed, so let's see what the messages are here. Okay, bottom of the deck, High Priestess, somebody's in disappearing mode, is it you or another person? This is going within, thinking about things, checking the intuition, keeping some secrets, not sharing, not revealing, okay? This could be you, Virgo. Some of you are just making huge shifts and changes in your life at this time. Um, and it, it feels to me like a lot of you are maybe looking at somebody's inability to commit to you. Um, there may have been a lot of struggling or a sense of feeling overwhelmed in a relationship, okay? Um, there may have been a lack of balance. And I do feel like some of you are coming to terms with something here. Um, not that maybe somebody does not love you, but that they just do not have the capabilities to be in a committed full-on relationship with you might really be kind of an eye-opener to you or uh, like a little bit of an awakening. Uh, somebody was unable to conform uh, or to meet your needs or expectations. And I feel like a lot of you have been going within and kind of like settling yourselves with this truth. Okay, coming to terms with it, accepting this truth. Um, that you may have been connected with someone who left you out in the cold a lot, or they went silent on you often. You didn't have a lot of communication. You didn't know what was going on. A lot of you just pulled back your energy. Um, it feels kind of like... I feel like... You're getting your hope back again because of this realization that there wasn't anything you truly could do about this. This person, like you're coming to terms with the fact like oh, you can't fix this. You can't make this happen. You can't change this. Nothing you do. You've done everything you could possibly do or have done. Nothing you do can change this person. Okay. And so because of that, if you're not feeling this way right now, I feel like in November you're coming to terms with like, wow, you're getting your hope back. Like, wow, okay, I can surrender now. I don't have to work to fix this relationship by myself. I can just let it go and be at peace. So I feel like a lot of you are going through this situation. There might have been somebody else involved with your person um, that you thought was going to be like, okay. They're just saying... Um, Someone else that your person got involved with, this was like meant to be, but the person they got involved with was extremely um, corrupt, kind of like a very cold, someone who um, was dishonest and unkind, almost as if it was a karmic and that was something that they had to experience. And a lot of you just said, you know, I'm gonna let that person go. And let them wake up to the truth. Let things be revealed to them. Let the truth come out and be revealed to them. Um, 
that the person that they were connecting with was deceitful and dishonest. Definitely. Okay, definitely. And this person now, it feels to me like they are either they've, they're, they're divorcing or they got a divorce from this person or there was a breakup, or the arguments, the Three of Swords energy, your person, it, it kind of feels like they're coming to you with this heartbroken apology with the Three of Pentacles. To tr they want to try to um, rebuild something here with you. Okay, and I feel like a lot of you were just like, kind of expected it. You kind of knew that no matter what you said to them, no matter what screenshots you showed to this person or what you told them about the person they were connecting with, they needed to find this out for themselves. And you, I feel like a lot of you just surrendered and said, there's nothing I can do about this. They're just going to have to go through it on their own. Okay. Now it doesn't have to be like a lover. It could have been like someone else who was influencing your relationship, whoever that might have been. Family member, a friend. Um, Virgo, you have the gift of clarity and truth. You saw something, whatever the influence, it could have been an addiction of some sort, whatever you saw with this person that was controlling them, you had no power over it. You were powerless. You tried to help fix, reestablish, help this person see the light, help them wake up to things. They just, it, it wasn't, they had to go through this. It feels to me like you surrendered your will to spirit and said, you take it, you handle this. There's nothing I do, nothing I do is working. And it was causing you a lot of stress and anxiety and uh, really having a huge effect on your life. Okay, if you haven't gotten to that point yet, and this is a situation that you're dealing with, Virgo, with somebody, you have to come to terms that you cannot fix this. You cannot, do, there's nothing you can do. People have to go through their journey. People have to see things. They have to come to the light on their own. They have to have those experiences. You can plant seeds, but they have to be the one to nourish those seeds and uh, have that growth. You can't make somebody grow or change. So if you are haven't done this yet, I see you going through this in November where you're just letting it go. You're like, Jesus, take the freaking wheel because I cannot do anything about this. You will release yourself from the burden by doing this. You, letting go will give you peace. It may not be easy, but when you put it in God's hands, Spirit's hands, and you just pray for that person and hope and wish that, you know, whatever will be done for them, let it be in their best interest and let it go. Doing that, I feel like your person, if they haven't already experienced some kind of wake up call or revelation about something that you already knew or you already saw, they will. They're coming in. Okay, and I feel like whatever they were going through, whoever they were connecting with, whatever situation was influenced this relationship in a very negative way, I feel like this person is not only going to come back with an apology, but also a way to make amends, either that's paying you back something if they stole from you, um, giving you a token of their appreciation for you, some of them saying you were right. Uh, you might get that from this person, but it feels more like giving you some kind of a gift. Um, it's not just an, uh, an apology with words, but it's also a show showing you something here. Okay. And with that three of pentacles here, you know, I feel like it's coming in with, I, I want us to be a team. I want us to work on this. Three of pentacles can be marriage. Let me get some romance angels cards here see what's going on okay trust yeah this person wants to come back in and rebuild this trust with you try to rebuild this trust with you that's very beautiful all right engagement they may even come in proposing engagement or proposing some type of higher level of commitment or coming in to make an offer to you I feel like this person has let go or will be letting go in November of all of the, the interference that has caused the breakdown in your relationship. 
Okay, yep, they're freeing themselves. That's what I just said. They're freeing themselves from whatever this was. Only you know specifically what your story is, but I feel like that's what's going on. Now let me take a look here at this Three of Swords energy. Okay, okay. Hmm. Now they're standing here with actual boundaries. Boundaries against whatever interfered and being very persistent. This person might have just been, they were weak and they allowed, they allowed the devil to grip them in their weakness and take them away. And I feel like there was some kind of intervention or wake up call happening or is, is happening, will happen to this person in November where they realized that they were on an absolute path of destruction. And some of you made a decision or will make a decision going forward this month that you are not going along for the ride. Too much of a roller coaster, too much up and down energy. I feel like this person's instability made you feel very unstable. This is... <laughs> definitely like getting away from this energy delaying not being on that roller coaster of emotion with this person this up and down back and forth off and on in state unstable bullshit crap unhealthy energy okay i feel like this whoever this person is Okay, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. For some of you, it could be um, a friend or a family member or something going on. Um, you know, you, some of you may have been co-addicted in a lot of ways. Like not actually, like if this person was on drugs or alcohol or something, you know, that was like very damaging, you might not have been. Maybe you were and you, you're getting, you got clean or you're getting clean. Um but if you weren't, you may have been co-addicted in a sense where, you know, this person had a great need and therefore you had a great need. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Kind of like this person's need was so great for something else that it left you in a position of lack as well. And a lot of you, I feel like, are going through this healing process, which is beautiful. There was a lack of trust. There was betrayal. Um, I feel like your person is here looking back on how much heartache that they have caused themselves and you. This is the wounded warrior right here, wounded soldier. And this is the nine of wands is kind of like putting up these very strong protective boundaries and keeping them and keeping somebody out or something person, place, or thing out of this relationship and out of their life. Okay, so yeah, Knight of Pentacles coming in with this healing offer here. This person's at a crossroads and um, they're, the, the Two of Wands is partnership. Okay, <clears throat> this is kind of like making a decision here to come towards you. Not just come towards you, but come towards you with a good faith gesture it's something repaying you back for something or giving some kind of token or symbol of their honesty and their truth okay this person they've been in a delay they've been waiting for the right time uh i feel like for a while to come forward and you know for those of you who are in any kind of 12-step program this nine of wands feels like the ninth step here making amends to rebuild this three of pentacles is about commerce for a lot of you it's and trust for a lot of you it's like putting money back into that trust account or that bank account um, repaying you back for something that um, was broken down or became disabled okay um so i really feel like this person's at this spot now here where they're like it could be uh there's, there's something to do with travel here. And this person, I feel like they're, that you may get a phone call from them first about something or an apology, but there's, it's also like, I feel like they want, they're calling you because they want to reestablish faith. Look, Knight of Cups here, 
also making um, a romantic proposal or uh, just offering their cup of love as well. It really feels like down on their knees to gain your trust back again. And don't tell me that some of you are like, I will never accept that back again. There are some of you here that I do know in the back of your minds, you're like, if this person really came clean and I really saw that they were truly trying to make amends. I mean, for some of you, this could be your children or a child or, or someone close to you or a good friend. You know, I mean, at some point, it doesn't mean you have to open your door fully and let them back in. But if someone's truly coming in, like down on their knees, like you can tell, you can tell that this is the real deal and you sense that this is the real thing here and you're not duped, like you know. I mean, this person, it would be the equivalent of like them cutting off their leg like it's that feeling like here i've amputated my leg to prove to you that i am here like they come in to show you something you just know it's the real deal it, it, it's it couldn't be narcissistic because a narcissist would never do that if that this is the energy that's coming forward here the six of cups in the reverse this person is like they realize how naive they were how blinded they were by a person, place, or thing in the past that destroyed this connection, and how cowardly they were with the Six of Swords in the reverse to not face their fears. This is all like a major awakening for this person. Okay, they were so they were stagnant, extremely stagnant. This person, I feel like just delayed, they had no plans, they weren't able to see ahead in the future. Um, for the longest time, there's a there's a lot of stuff here. They, it just feels like they were quite blinded, really trapped by someone or something in the past. And that, for a lot of you, just forced you to just hands up in the air and just let it go. <clears throat> yep, Six of Cups, stagnant, hangman, trapped, passive, unable to move, just trying to make the best of a situation, um, in their mind and just basically saying you know this person was in this place of like well this is the best i can do so i can't do anything so i'm not going to move i'm not going to make anything better um almost playing the victim in a lot of ways okay you know um they may have been very selfish in the past okay um but it feels to me like it's a realization about this stuff because the hangman in the in the upright is more about like now making these sacrifices, having that wisdom, a totally different perspective on, it's like extreme humility, coming to terms with whatever they may have postponed between the two of you due to their um, choices, bad choices in the past, or whatever was pulling them, whatever was pulling them. Okay, gaining the strength to overcome, to come out of this comfort zone. It was a comfort zone for them. It was a bubble. It was a trap that they were in that they felt they couldn't see their way out of, stuck in a maze, stuck in the matrix, <laughs> unable to get out. And it's like, boom, that, it feels like that's changing. It feels like this person is coming to terms with this energy. Like, wow, really was stuck in something and just could not see my way out of it. Okay, so major, major shift happening with this person. You know, I forgot to tell you guys who your person sign is, but you know what? I don't think it matters because I feel like right now you guys know who your person is. And if you're like, who is it? Then, then maybe this isn't for you, okay? But if you are resonating with this reading, you already know. So this three of wands in the reverse, as I was saying, this person had no had no foresight. They couldn't see like what was right in front of them. 
definitely an apology, you guys. Definitely some type of communication coming through from this person with the Page of Cups, wanting to have like a new beginning, a new love start here with you, volunteering their emotions, opening up and sharing things at, to it just feels like a coming back to really apologize and try to have something start over in a brand new fresh way like a person who's healed isn't that refreshing i don't know that this is something where you will you know connect with them and it's like you just see a total transformation but you will see a total down on their knees humbling themselves to apologize and to tell you that like i mean it is that will be the transformation you'll see it will be completely unexpected this is not something that some of you will ever think you will see from this person i don't know exactly what happened with them but i do feel when judgment is here this is a major wake-up call of some sort. I don't know if you, you're leaving this person made this happen. It could have for some of you. Um, and for others, this is just like complete clarity. Understanding what their life's purpose is. Okay, that's something I don't feel like this person really was able to see. That God must have intervened or something. <laughs> so this person, okay... Wow. So the nine of cups in the reverse, I have to tell you, for some of you guys, this might have been someone who had, um, in, they were, they, they had indulgence issues. Okay. They might've had an issue, like things might've happened to them due to their indulgence indulgences. Okay, where the outset would have been like um, weight gain, extreme, not taking care of themselves, being extremely lazy, always looking for quick results, um, grandiose thinking, someone who was trying to have instant gratification in their life all the time. Okay, could have been um, abusing substances to cope. Um, there might have been a very immature energy with this person where um, they had fantasies about you, but they could never like come down out of the clouds and be here in the real world. In reality, they might have been online, indulging in online fantasies as well, okay, um, that kind of interfered in your relationship. And I feel like this person... Um, a very immature energy with the page of wands okay someone who would come across as like always going after mm, the oh, the dopamine hit from relationships fantasies um as soon as the rose colored glasses would come off this person would become depressed do you know like the dopamine hit you get when you first start dating someone you're so excited as soon as that would wear off then this person they needed to indulge they needed to have that and if they were doing that with other people or seeking other substances or anything else it really was having an effect on this person's life they just couldn't come down out of the clouds and see reality and i feel like november it's like wow because at the end of the day here this person has, has lost everything even the worst thing is a sense of self <clears throat> yep look page of wands what did i say this crush smitten dopamine hit with other people as well um you know the three of cups is a card of uh unifying with others it can be a card of celebration this person might have always been like looking to go out and party with others or get attention um just to have like fun 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 all the time that kind of thing just thinking um i feel like they would just get very easily lusty lustful have lustful attractions to others and then they would ride with that it could even be like serial dating or just, you know, very immature, like 
teenage kind of energy, you know, like, um, like school girls, school boy crushes and whoever, you know, whatever would stimulate them, they would chase after that. Or it may not just be other people. It could have been um, excessive drinking, indulgences, excessiveness that was giving that they were thinking was giving them that emotional dopamine hit. But see, that's never permanent. That doesn't ever last. So they were constantly chasing after that. Yep, and here they are. Seeking stability and structure here. Ten of Pentacles here. This The Ten of Pentacles always feels to me like a brick and mortar. It's solid. You know what I mean? Solid, stable life. The boring is what they would may have called it. I can't do that. The boringness of the mundane and the everyday in and out. This person may have an addictive personality um, that causes them to go chasing after, chasing don't go chasing waterfalls that's it that's it this person was chasing waterfalls rather than sticking to the rivers and the lakes that they're used to that's what you were dealing with okay and whatever those waterfalls chasing dreams chasing rainbows wow virgo this is intense this is so intense this feels to me like this person is like coming back to stability maybe they went into a rehab or um they got like got themselves structured they're getting themselves structured freeing themselves taking control back of their life it's almost like this person was on a magic carpet ride <laughs> that they thought would last forever and uh some of them came to terms some of them had this wake-up call because some of somebody else they got involved with Maybe somebody they were involved with got rid of them or gave them some cold, nasty truth and it coincided with what maybe you said to them in the past. And it was like, boom. Boom. So that Seven of Cups here, this person was never able to commit. Never able to commit. Always in La La Land. Too many choices, too many options. Yep, look at them. They're realizing they could look the same thing. Options, four of cups, the same thing. Feeling always unfulfilled and becoming apathetic to love because of their indulgences. Comfortably numb is what I feel like this person got to. And this is all them freeing themselves from all of that, taking control back of their life. I mean, it's beautiful. A lot of you, like I said, this could be, you know, um, family member, friends. It could be lover, you know. But I, I feel like you've got somebody here who's healing from some very tra traumatic things, uh, freeing themselves, bringing, um, getting this healing energy happening to them. I mean, I feel like it's really beautiful. Um, and I feel like... You know, as you guys know, I say all the time, you know, you can't fix other people. You can't control others. You have no power over other people. The only person you have control and power over is yourself. The only person that you can, you know, heal and really make changes within is yourself. And when you're doing that with yourself, other people around you will also heal or they'll despise you. Okay, you can't win every single time, but you can always win when you're healing yourself and when you're doing self-love and when you're um, taking care of body, mind, and soul. And I feel like, I don't know if, if you've been doing that and this is rubbing off on this person and they're inspired by you to make these changes or if this is just, they just got a bad deal with somebody else or something happened and it's waking them up. It, either one, it doesn't matter. All right, let me just see here what your... Wow, it's amazing how this shows up all the time. Did you guys notice how this just flipped out? Secure home. This was here yesterday as well. Like, it feels like this is the theme 
for like the whole month of November that you need to get secure. And this person I feel like is trying to secure things. They might even be securing a home. Um, you may see this person um, start to become more responsible, more grown up, start doing more grown up things. If they already have a home, okay, they may be actually paying their bills, doing things the right way, getting caught up on um, mortgage payments. Some of you I know are saying, well, they always paid their bills. Okay, they might be securing their home and making it more safe or securing themselves. Okay, they may be coming in um, to express to you, like offer you something about that down payment on a home that you guys were building or to work on finishing something here, securing something. Okay. Um, I also heard, <laughs> okay, somebody here is installing um, security systems or cameras or something in their home. <laughs> I don't know what that's about or is thinking about doing that or has just done that. Okay, could be you or this person. There may be a great need to do this. There may have been theft attached to this person or and that was you know maybe attached to you as well if that's something that you've been thinking about virgo securing your home like with cameras and, and security systems that might be uh that's a message for you to like not just think about it but start doing it all right let's see okay illusion trust your intuition when in doubt of a situation, but remain still until more information is available. T take caution. I kind of feel like um, there's a lot of hesitancy between you and this person because there was a lot of damage that was done. So it, this card basically talks about illusion, although there may not be enough light to see ahead for you. And the shadows may be frightening you. Only trust what you can see and not what your mind's tricks play on you. You must trust your intuition when in doubt of this or of something. But don't do anything until you have all the information and the facts. I don't know who that's for, but that feels like a very important message. Some of you are sitting here wanting to make um, some kind of decision about something, but you can't yet because you don't have enough information. So you're at being asked to remain still at this time, to not retreat, to not move forward, just to remain still. And I don't know, go color in a coloring book to keep yourself distracted. You're in a waiting room. I see some of you in a wait. Maybe you're actually in a waiting room right now. But I see some of you just, you're just waiting right now. You can't leave, but you can't go fully through the doors yet. So you're in this, some of you might feel like purgatory. I don't know, but you're in this waiting. You're in a holding pattern. And you can't do anything yet. You also have the past return. So there you go. This is a past person coming into your life or coming back around I don't feel like this person has ever truly left the past I feel like they've been kind of stuck in the past for a long time and they uh, it's like when you're living in the past if your past has been traumatic and you're still living there you can't get out of that or heal from that you will find ways to cope with it and that could be kind of like flushing out your brain and not dealing with it and i feel like the person that you're connecting with has been stuck in their past and traumatic past reliving it over and over and over in their head they've never truly been able to get away from that or heal from that and so they found outside sources in order to cope with it but it was actually destroying them. Their coping mechanism was destroying them and all of their relationships and their life. Let's see. Okay, financial decision is definitely being made here. Like I said, some of you are getting payback. You're getting paid back for something um, and there's a major financial decision being made. Um, some of you are 
selling a home or you've sold a home or you are I don't feel like this person's going to ask you for money. I feel like they're actually going to offer you some type of money or something. There's this just this energy of like this good faith effort, like a proof. Proof of my apology, proof of making something up to you, paying you back, doing what I need to do to show you that um, I'm trying to make amends here. This is what I feel like is happening here. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you have to let go of old ways of thinking, even though you may feel stuck. It's just an illusion. That's what I'm talking about. You were duped by somebody who is giving you pipe dreams or illusions. A lot of you are getting clear. And there's clear, there's clarity coming from this person as well. I feel like you guys had a lot of hunches about someone or their actions, but you could never fully, for some of you, prove something. And that kept you stuck because you could never actually prove it. You just had your vibes and you got feeling to go on with this person or their actions. This is all coming to light to you. Okay. And that's why the energy was you couldn't move forward. You couldn't return back. You needed to be still the, 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 the clouds will dissipate. And that's what I feel like is going to happen here. You're actually going to start getting answers to the things that you believed were true, but could not, you didn't have the facts. You're going to start getting the facts. And for some, maybe even closure, it may just be all that you need to move forward. Um, I just feel like there's some things here that you just were not aware of, but you had a hunch and you knew. Okay. Um, all right. Blockages are definitely being removed during this time, and there's a material wish being granted. So this really feels to me, um, there's financial gain here for you, definitely. There could be, like I said, somebody coming in and paying you back for something, um, or some material thing that you have wanted or you were owed, you're getting... You, I. Like I see this being brought back to you or brought to you. I don't know exactly what that is. It's a material thing. It holds value. For some of you, it was that Knight of Pentacles, like I said, some type of maybe even an engagement offer or um, something tangible. Proof. I feel like proof in the pudding. Something, something tangible to show you what you needed. You didn't need. No more words. What are words for when no one listens anymore? I don't know if you guys remember that that song. That's from Missing Persons from the 80s. I used to love that song. Um, words are shit. Words don't mean anything. Words hold no value. Words, words mean nothing without action backed up behind it. Because... Without it, it's just lip service. Point blank, period. People can tell you whatever the hell they want. I could sit here and tell you whatever I, I want without showing you the cards. You know what I mean? Not that the point I'm trying to make is that people can say anything. It's like, you know, if someone gets angry at you and they smash your favorite vase, okay, and then they come back and they apologize for doing that. Okay, thanks. But are you going to replace my freaking vase? Like, that's the apology. We're not accepting words. We're not accepting just lip service. True amends means, hey, yeah, I'm sorry, and here's how I'm going to make it up to you with proof. Those are the only apologies to be accepted. I don't know whoever said to anybody, oh, if they say sorry, that's good. It's not good enough. It's never good enough. You know, when a child hits a baseball and smashes somebody's, the neighbor's window, they can come up and say sorry, but the neighbors can say, okay, now you got to come work for me for two weeks so you can repair this window. 
that's what I'm talking about is happening here. I don't see somebody coming in with just simple words or wordplay or just coming in with sorry. I see them like legit cutting off their arm and handing it over to you like as an apology. And you know what? I don't feel like you're going to need to really... I don't feel like you're going to have any doubt or question because you're going to see it. Back it up. Okay. So material rep does not... It doesn't represent like riches material just represents texture things that you can hold things that you can touch things that are real okay 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 toxic city this person this is devil energy this person is breaking these chains taking it one day at a time it might have been an addiction healing doesn't happen overnight this person is facing their fears they're asking for guidance and they've been praying to be lifted out of whatever the torment they've been in it's a time of deep struggle for them, but they can't do it alone. That does not mean you need to come in and rescue them. This person needs to have outside sources to continue to help them. And it feels like they're doing that, okay? But it definitely feels like they're coming in to make some kind of a, to make amends to you for something that would happen. They're coming in quick. Hey, speed and travel. They're coming in very quickly. Communication, a lot of communication. Um, it kind of feels to me, you know, coming in with strength, a lot of strength. And I also feel quick changes. You, you're going to just be very surprised. There, there's definitely going to be a surprise, maybe a surprise gift, but you're going to feel very surprised. This is totally unexpected, except for the fact that I'm telling you about it now. This is totally unexpected. You may not even know what to do with this. Okay. Hmm. Reevaluating career. Not sure what's going on there here. Some of you might be taking a look at your... I don't know how this relates to this reading. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. It's this person. Their career might have had something to do with how they got caught up in some bad stuff or some negative stuff. I feel like their career had a lot of things attached to it that maybe caused temptation or greed or lust or things like that. This person is actually reevaluating all of their, their, their career choices or the lifestyle that they were in, okay? That facilitated toxic behavior. That's, that's what it is. Some of you might be doing that too. Okay, spying online. <laughs> Your person might have been like a private investigator. Maybe they were a private investigator. Um, hmm. Or saw things. Some of them might even used their private, like a PI, <laughs> to spy on you as well. I do feel like some of you are not in communication with this person. Um, and somehow they are, they're telling me, I don't know how they would be seeing you online. They might just be Googling your name or something just to see, to try to see what, if there's any information about you, um, like if you've moved on or if you've moved away or if you are no longer online or like it's just a i feel like it's a preemptive move right now before they come in okay so they're definitely seeking you out they're searching for you right now um, if they're able to see you they've been able to access a way to see you i don't know what all of your situations are but they are definitely listening and they're definitely watching um, if you're on social media, they may be looking at you there. If you're, if you do, if you're not, but you have other ways that you are being, like you've got a, a footprint somewhere online that they are able to access or they are able to see. But I don't feel like they're spying or watching you because they're going to do you harm. I feel like they they just want to make sure that when they come in to make these amends, even though they want to be with you, 
they want to make sure that they don't overstep their boundaries. If you haven't spoken to this person a long time and you've remarried or you are in a position where I feel like they're kind of um, being a little strategic, they, you know, they may be thinking about mailing you a letter. It could be a letter um, or sending a gift. Okay, they could be seeking to get your address, right? <laughs> I just heard somebody here, they're like, you know what? I can't get away from this person. I, I legit do not want them back. I don't even want an apology. I am not interested. I am looking. I have a new lover or I'm looking for new love. I just want them to go away. This isn't about you, Virgo. This is about this person, you know? And if you get a message or an apology, and you just somehow don't want it, then just chuck it, throw it away, leave it be, um, because you don't owe any anyone anything. Okay, they this is for them. This is for them to get on their path of healing. And if they've done harm to you, you know you can acknowledge it. I don't feel now for some of you it is because they want to reestablish something with you, and for others it's it may just be. They just want to make changes in their life and they just want to make amends to the to those that they've hurt okay let's see what your moonology messages are here okay surrender to the divine yeah i do feel like um you know there is a surrendering like i was saying in the beginning a lot of you have surrendered where you just got to a place where you realize that you couldn't fix it, you couldn't change it, you couldn't do anything to make any great changes in this person. You just didn't have that kind of effect. Something had to happen to them. The hammer had to come down on them. They had to hit rock bottom and come to terms with stuff. I feel like surrender is just the most beautiful wor word in the, in the universe, I feel. Surrender is so beautiful. Um, control is not. <laughs> surrender is control. <laughs> So if you're in that position right now, um, maybe the next full moon, take that opportunity to surrender and let go of all, of everything, if you haven't done this yet. Because I always say, I like to use analogies, you know, like when you're holding on to something tightly, nothing is open in your your palm is not open to receive when you're grasping tightly onto something it's only when you let go that things fall away and you're open to receive your palms must be open your mind must be empty and open in order to receive when it's constricted and holding tight to notions people things places whichever there can't be any new anything new if you pile more on top of it it will just keep piling on top but it will never penetrate you have to let go in order to receive don't let pride get in your way okay let go pride is the biggest obstacle to surrendering let go of any pride okay and take the time to breathe out Take the time to, breathing out, I say this all the time, there's, a, there's an exercise. Whatever you need to let go of, release it with every exhale that you have. That's a meditation form. Whatever you have that's stressing you out, that's giving you trouble, that you feel is an obstacle, or that you just cannot let go of, lay in your bed, Inhale all of the positive and exhale those negative things with every breath. Do this about 10 times. You think about that thing that is causing you that stress, that anxiety. And every time you breathe out or you exhale, you visualize yourself breathing out that stress and anxiety. That thing, that's release. That's releasing it. All right, I want to see what the love messages are here. Okay, let's start with the Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's start with the Hidden Truth Oracle, let me see. Love messages, what this person, what these, these hidden messages are here for you. Okay, you speak to me through music, okay? There might be some type of musical connection between you and this person. 
they all right I hide behind material things hmm so many things remind me of you I hope that you can forgive me one day I left you before you could leave me I remember every detail of our day together I love you unconditionally we will be together again you came closer than anyone Virgo that's very profound I feel like you 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 planted a seed that really woke this person up by something you said or did and it was only something negative that happened to them in their life that actually activated those seeds that you planted where they had that light bulb moment they're like oh wow okay I lost myself for a little while. I am afraid to contact you, but I think that's just a feeling. They do wish that they had treated you better, Virgo. And they have this good news to share with you. They want to share this with you, that they're freeing themselves from this past chaos that they were in. And they wish things could be different. And I feel like they're going to try to make these amends. They're not going to force things here. But they truly do want to have you in their life as their partner, as their lover. And they want to rebuild this trust with you again. And of course, Virgo, as I always say, you know, some of you are like, yes, oh, here we go. There you go. It's a twin flame connection, point blank period, period. And I feel like some of you, you know, there's only certain people who can have and deal with a twin flame connection twin flame connections i'm actually in the process of writing an ebook on the twin flame connection that i will have for sale that you'll be able to download so you can learn more specifically about what you're in or in separation with twin flame relationships are not for the faint of heart soulmate relationships are easy soulmate relationships they're just they're smooth the twin flame relationships are powerful and they, they have an element of struggle and they have an element of self-effacing action where there's a reflect or being reflected back to one another, not only the positives, but the negatives as well. They're very deep lesson learning relationships. And I feel like that here, this here, man, I should have just named this the twin flame. <laughs> specifically but i definitely feel like that's what this is here twin flame relationship oh, addiction and addiction is affecting this relationship this is what the struggle was in this twin flame connection this is the cause for separation i said that in the very beginning and this is what's coming up now again to to confirm some type of an addiction i don't there's so many okay there might have even been some type of social conditioning which can mimic uh, addiction. Um, but something was going on here that caused this extreme uh, difficulty in this relationship. And I feel like a lot of you saw this in this person, but you had to like wash your hands of it and just pray for intervention because you couldn't do anything about this. Okay. And it's marriage. Some of you were married to this person, might still currently be. But this also can be leading to a marriage. This twin flame connection, this person, they are your person. And a lot of you know it. And a lot of you have tears. A lot of you just know that this is your other half. And a lot of you, why didn't this work out? Why couldn't this work out? What is happening? What is going on? Now, I know some of you are like, I have no idea who this person is. I don't know this twin flame thing. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It may not be your reading today. But for those of you who are like, yes, this is what's going on. This is the answer. This person suffered some type of an addiction of some sort. And it heavily damaged the relationship but lessons here are being learned and that's what the twin flame relationship is and this 
person and you went through these difficulties in order to have supreme self-actualization and growth even in separation let's see what your advice is Virgo okay wow you have the four of fire there's so much here to be celebrating Virgo send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity that's coming to you now Virgo Peace and contentment are coming into your personal life in November. This whole releasing thing, a lot of you do come to a place of peace where you're just like, you know you've done the best you could. You know you've put in your best, your best foot forward. You, you gave and you gave and you gave and you gave and you gave so much and you couldn't give anymore and you had to release this person. And now all of that good karma is coming back to you. Okay, in one way or another. All right, the four of the four of fire is the eleven eleven. Eleven eleven is a twin flame union. That's a twin flame connection. I guess I'm just gonna have to call this a twin flame coming together or something. So this is a reunion is happening here with this four of earth, our uh, four of fire. There's a homecoming. Somebody's coming home for some of you. This is like family healing, friendship healing, marriage healing, and a celebratory time, a time to be celebrating. Look, the six of swords, the end of challenging times, things are looking up. There's a welcome relief coming to you, Virgo. You're finding your way to a peaceful place yet again. The end of depression or any kind of illness in your person, in you, there's travel, there's relocation for some of you. There's an energy here of a necessary transition here. Um, coming out of the comfort zone. It's very beautiful energy for you and this person. Just, I'm just, this is like the reading of all time. <laughs> this is the reading of like the all time, this is an all time thing. All right, let's get some charms and see what other messages, um, who I may be channeling, what message they may have for you. Sometimes the charms can confirm that this reading is for you. Sometimes it's separate and it's just I'm channeling people who have passed on or you are no longer connecting with um, or there's just a guardian angel or someone who is looking out for you. Okay, so if you like the charms, awesome. If you don't, please do, before you leave, click the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this reading. Okay, let's get your charms. Holla! They all threw out. They all flew out. Okay, what do we have here? Wow. Wow, the key. There's a key here. Okay. Some of you lost your keys last night or at night or something. This is a very, <coughs> excuse me, very simple key. Someone's giving you a key to something. Maybe you're getting a key to a new vehicle or you got a new key or you're getting a new key to a new home. You're getting the keys today. Or you, somebody's just getting a key today for something. I don't know exactly what. Um, If you are, this message is definitely for you, okay? I just feel like there's nothing more with that key. Oh, and somebody lives near the Florida Keys, I just heard, or Key Street. There's something with the word key, okay? So we have the Dove of Peace, beautiful. That's definitely an angel message for you, that peace is coming your way. Okay, and then I'm not really sure I just feel like this is like one of those cameo brooches. Something about cameo. Somebody's making a, an appearance or the word cameo means something. Maybe somebody's name is Cami. Cami, Ca Ca Camilla. Oh, Camilla connected to, isn't that Prince Charles's wife, Camilla? 
are you in England? Is somebody in England or Australia or somewhere along? I don't know. Okay, so now we've got, oh. Okay, um, this feels very much like Sagittarius energy. You could be, can, this could be, maybe there's a Sagittarius involved in this situation. And I, I believe, now listen, sometimes, you know, I'm getting older, sometimes I forget. Is Sagittarius ruled by Saturn or is that Jupiter? I can't remember, but I am seeing Saturn, Saturna, Saturn here. There's something to do with Saturn. Oh, there could be something happening astronomically with Saturn coming up in the month of November. And I don't follow that stuff, so I don't really know. Like, I don't do the aliens and the space stuff. I mean, like the planets, I know astrologically as much as I can, but has something to do with the rings of Saturn. I'm saying the rings of Saturn. Watch for that in uh, November. All right, let's see. I'm, I, you know what? I, they just said that's enough. They just said that's enough. Um, when doves cry. When doves cry. When doves cry. I just heard oh and then I don't know does anybody like do you like orange cream um, or creamsicles orange creamsicles or orange cream oh some of you just bought new foundation maybe makeup foundation or you're some of you are creating a cosmetic line perhaps um, just felt like a cosmetic line or something to do with um could be theater makeup maybe you are in theater and there's theater makeup or something that you're putting on or you're applying i'm seeing like um maybe cosmetic powder one side it's like two different pow powders and they you know it's like um it's like a half circle on one side half circle on the other I don't know if you use that. Maybe you just bought that or something. All right, I'm going to end your reading here because I can't just keep going with the charms. I don't know. They, they just said to stop at this point. So I'm going to leave it here. Again, personal reading. The link is below. Definitely click on that. You can get a 30-minute phone call or a one-hour phone call reading with me. Okay, the more in-depth, you know, the hour is much better. Um, do stay tuned. For tomorrow's reading i'm here if you're new to my channel every single day unless i take some time off because sometimes i need some time off um but please do hit like share and subscribe on the channel and um you guys i was gonna do the membership thing um but remember for those of you who know i was gonna do something specific i'm not gonna be able to do that because i just found out that um i will get copyright or i will get strikes on my channel because YouTube is really strict now. So I will do the membership, but it will be not as expletive, so to speak, okay, as um, we were talking about before. So it will be um, a membership to join $9.99 a month, and there will be perks that you'll get with that. Um, I'll let you know. I was going to set that up at the beginning of the month i am still going to do that but now i have to kind of rework everything so if you're still interested to join i will definitely let you know about that i am not on social media i actually re-established um a couple of my social media accounts um and then uh i just posted a couple things and i was like you know what i just don't want to be on it i don't want anything to do with it i i think that mark my personal opinion i think mark zuckerberg is um uh, diabolical uh, sociopath and I don't want anything to do with that crazy freaking the sh I, I could go in the whole metaverse everybody's going into the matrix I don't want to be in the matrix so yeah so you're not going to be able to find me on there anymore I've, I've taken everything off um, Instagram WhatsApp Facebook um, I don't even know what else is out there so this is where you can find me or you can reach me through email. All right, you guys. So I love you all. I will see you guys tomorrow evening. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, morning, afternoon, and night. And uh, take care. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye.